we are given that 4 times fractional part of x is equal to x plus integral part of x. Let's call that equation 1. Now x is equal to the integral part plus the fractional part of x. Let's call that equation 2. And if we substitute equation 2 in equation 1, we get 4 times fractional part of x is equal to integral part of x plus fractional part of x plus integral part of x and this is equal to 2 times integral part of x plus fractional part of x. This implies that 3 times fractional part of x is equal to 2 times integral part of x which implies that integral part of x is equal to 3 upon 2 times the fractional part of x. Let's call this result 3. Now the fractional part of a number will always be greater than or equal to 0 and strictly less than 1. Therefore, 3 upon 2 times the fractional part of x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 3 upon 2. Now from result 3, we know that 3 upon 2 times the fractional part of x is equal to the integral part of x. And therefore, integral part of x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 3 upon 2. Now since the integral part of x is an integer, therefore, it can take only two values which satisfy this inequality. Integral part of x can be equal to either 0 or 1. Now consider the first case when integral part of x is equal to 0. From equation 3, we know that integral part of x is equal to 3 upon 2 times fractional part of x. And if this is equal to 0, then fractional part of x is equal to 0. Therefore, x, which is equal to integral part of x plus fractional part of x, is equal to 0 plus 0, which is equal to 0. Now consider the second case when integral part of x is equal to 1. From result 3, we know that the integral part of x is equal to 3 upon 2 times the fractional part of x. And if this is equal to 1, then the fractional part of x is equal to 2 upon 3. Therefore, x, which is equal to integral part of x plus fractional part of x, is equal to 1 plus 2 upon 3 is equal to 5 upon 3 in this case. Therefore, to summarize, the solutions of the given equation are x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5 upon 3. And this is the required answer.